Hey Keith, I'm doing my first uh, milling project here. Johanna and I have our drill press and her dad machined this um, flat panel for us. I don't know if someone broke it or why exactly. Something broke and we needed to replace it. I think Andrew did it, if I remember correctly. No, it just broke. Oh, it was Andrew. It was, it was old. <laughs> okay. But anyways, um, this bracket um, mounts to uh, this plate here. And through the bracket, there's a hole. And you screw it into this. Um, you th uh, screw it, thread it in right here. But the problem is, in the bracket, there's not a big enough hole for this head of the screw to fit in there and get a socket over it to tighten it down. So you have like the sloppy motion going on and we need to keep it tight. So here is the bracket that this plate mounts to. And as you can see, when I drop this bolt in here, this is how you mount it to the back of the drill press. Um, it drops in all the way flush when it's not about to be milled. And um, you cannot get a socket around that, so you cannot tighten it down all the way. So we have an end mill bit on here that's going to cut us a larger diameter. And I have everything set up so that I can cut it. I'm going to do it now. Over here on the front, I measured, well first I measured the depth of my hole here and it's six millimeters. So I went right down until I hit the beginning of the surface of this. And that is at 26 millimeters up here. So I'm going to go down to 20 millimeters and then I will bore down six millimeters and be flush with the hole her dad previously cut. So I'm going to back it off a little bit and get it started. So here we go. A good light on there. It's just really bright right where it is. Is that better? Sure. You won't get it perfect. It's probably better. Right. Turn this beast on. <laughs> Start contacting now. Probably going a lot slower than I need to go, but since it's my first project, well, his dad told me never to grab those. He'll show you cut your you'll cut through your finger. <laughs> So I won't. I think I can start manufacturing Brillo pads. Almost there. Another millimeter. And we should be there. I'm 
back it up and just visually see it. Looks like I need to go a little bit further, so I'll take it down another half a millimeter. Ever something is a slight fraction of a little bit more tiny. Still filming? Yeah. Alright, I unplugged it. And it's going to be loud, sorry. I unplugged the machine, and as you can see, I have a much wider hole here that I can definitely get a socket around now. Try to bring it over here and actually mount it up. So, so now, as you can see here, it's a lot more room. Nineteen millimeter bolt, bam, fits around it. So now when we actually use this thing, it's not going to rock back and forth because it'll be held in place perfectly and then our workpiece won't have angled cuts in it. So, anyways, dude, that one went really good. And uh, more to come. Peace out, dude.